Hi, this is Tomud, and I have here a process vlog. Process of walking with destiny, walking my destiny. I process being here, living in Norway with my past, with my present. Living on well on on the on the disability income pay check that I do for with my history of schizophrenia. And there is what I want to talk about today. My history of schizophrenia and how it affects me today. Because I see that and I have walked a quite extensive and detailed process with self-forgiveness on the word and my relationship to the phenomena and the word sickness and, and to be sick. I will leave a link to some of those blogs where I write about my relationship to the word sickness and to being sick. And I realized that I have, I have lived almost 15 years with the awareness of myself having this diagnosis or being a hearer of voices and being schizophrenic. Fifteen years where I've been referring to myself as a sick person. Fifteen years of indulging in the in the what shall I say in the emotions only to know for sure that I come out on the other side of the tunnel with uh, self-pity and self and you know those words of care and caress and love from a nurse or from a mother or from a father or from someone who chose me, approves me, love, approves me, care for about me within my suffering of illness. And there's this like a wrong spiral there because I give in to the emotions and the fear and the voice in the head and as a result of that I'm granted love and care and self and pity uh, from others. And it's just like a spiral that has been with the frequent, with the headlines of schizophrenia, hearing voices or emotions. So I say to hear no further. I do not, I do not want to put up with having schizophrenia anymore. I do not want to be, want to be defined by a schizophrenia as myself, as nobody else. I will not change the title of my blog for that reason. It is all right title on my my blog being called Schizophrenic Journey to Life. But I don't but I don't want to refer to myself as a typical schizophrenic or as a schizophrenia. When I speak about myself, when I think about myself, when I move myself, when I breathe, when I swim, when I eat, or when I shit, or when I sleep, whatever I do. I do not want to refer to myself as a voice here. I don't want to because when I define myself as a hearer of voices, I give in to that concept, that specific concept, and that is not supportive. That is not cool. So I'm these days walking a process of redefining who I am, what I live, and removing those components of emotions and fear and guilt and shame and sorrow from having been a hero of voices and from having been a schizophrenic and defining myself as a hero of voices and defining myself as a schizophrenic as a sort of emotional clown if you like. As hard as I find it to define what schizophrenia is, it is it's easier to say this it doesn't have any Context. It is not. It is not making any sense. And schizophrenia is not making any sense. It don't. It's just a twisted and wrong, made function system error. It's a knot on the. Um, it is like um, yeah, voice in the head. It is not sane. It is not cool either. So I don't want to define myself as a hero of voices no more. I don't want to define myself as a schizophrenic patient or as anything that has to do with those kinds of emotional rides or those emotional turmoils and just expecting myself to come out on the other side with some with a bucket of flowers with 
with, with somebody saying, are you all right, are you okay, I care for you, I love you, giving me that whole nourishment of, of positivity over and over and again, that pattern is just going for the one, for to have the other, like a, like addiction, very much like a addiction. So, to no further, I want to find myself with zero voices. I will be breath, I will be Estonian, I will breathe, I will forgive myself and I will breathe past all the obstacles and I'll push through and be who I can be for the best of all. Thank you very much for listening. Have a calm day.